Levitate has always been one of the weirder Dima storyline music videos for me, which is saying a lot knowing that Choker and Shy Wei exists. But this is the last music video of the Dima trilogy of the Trench era. That we have this gap between the Levitate music video all the way to Scaled in Icy and the ending of Levitate, when Tyler just gets drugged back to Dima and doesn't put up a fight. Tyler is conscious, unlike the jumpsuit music video where Tyler was completely unconscious. And then there are people around the campfire. Josh was there, there were two other people with their eyes open, and they just let him go. They don't fight the bishop, they get Tyler back. You spent all this time and effort coming up with the plan, trying to figure out where Tyler was going to be in Dima, getting people together. Hey, we're going in Dima, we're going to rescue one person who means a lot to us, and then you go and save him. You cause a distraction within Dima. You presumably get two children under arrest because they're holding bandito gear, and then you escape. Then you just let him go. You clearly see the bishop and dragging him back to Dima, and you're doing nothing. All this time and effort, you're doing nothing, and we'll get him back. It's just Tyler. It's not like we put so much time and effort in getting to him. The ending keeps me up at night because I have so many questions. And I think I finally understand what's going on at the end of Levitate. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this, how's it going, guys? First off, we hope you're having a good day today. Hope your day's going well and hope it continues to go well. I do want to give a disclaimer. I really didn't research this theory on the internet. I didn't Google, Reddit, Discord, anything. So if someone else may have thought of this idea, to which if they did, please comment below so I can give credit where credit is due, I eh? did And hey, maybe we can work on this together. But this is what I think is going on at the end of the Love Take music video. Let's go. We know Tyler is an integral part of the Banditos. Again, as per my rants, they put a lot of time and effort to go into Dima and help Tyler escape and blame two little children with because they were holding Bandito gear and presumably got arrested. But that's besides the point. So they get Tyler to the Bandito camp and they treat him like a king, like he is co-leader of the Banditos with Josh, something I believe heavily. If not, Tyler is a higher official within the uh, Bandito hierarchy. And then Tyler shaves his head, Jenna makes a cameo in the background and then we get this concert that happens where Tyler and Josh are doing their thing. There's a whole other uh, festival of Josh just going ham on the drums and people surrounding Josh and then vultures come and it looks like they're trying to worship the vultures. That's for what the banditos do because vultures symbolize escaping Dima and trash dragons, which they both are. Uh, Dima is trash dragon is Dima slang for vulture, but I believe that in this time frame of when Tyler gets to the Bandito camp to when Tyler gets taken back by Dima, I think Tyler is only there for maybe less than a day. We'll give the time frame of 14, 18 hours, basically less than a day, maybe even one full day, but it was enough time to where Tyler can pass on information to Josh, information that was integral to the Banditos. I think this is the way they communicate. I think this is the way that they get information. They had a whole way before, then presumably the information chain got shut. They had to find something new, so they went to go get Tyler and they exchange information there. Maybe they came up with a whole plan of what to do next. Like Tyler finally found the way to defeat the bishops and that was from inside walls. And then Tyler, with his purpose being done, giving all of, the, all of his information to Josh with symbolize that he's a bandito with the shaved head, sits at this campfire and waits with Josh and two other people who I don't know who they represent. I'm not going to worry about them too much, but Tyler gets drugged back consciously does put up a fight and no one's putting up a fight because they know Tyler's purpose at this time has been fulfilled. 
Josh and the Banditos have all the information that they need from Tyler in the going into the next phase of ending vilism, ending the bishops, and then bringing a new peace to Dima. And presumably this next step would be to for Josh to get caught and or Josh to willingly go to return himself to Dima because they know that Tyler and Josh together are powerful units and they can use them for their own nefarious purposes. Hence the Saturday music video and why they are there together. Because that's the biggest question. How do we get from Levitate to the Saturday music video? A couple events had to happen in between, such as Josh turning himself in into willingly giving himself to Dima so that way they can be used as propaganda tools with scale nicely. Do we see that they are still good guys in the Saturday music video with the with them? Uh, I don't want to say with them escaping Dima, but Tyler looking like it controls trash from inside the water. Josh pulling out the yellow tape and putting it on the wall, symbolizing this. We are banditos. Banditos were here. And then we get the outside music video, which is being edited right now as we speak, most likely. And super hyped for that. And hopefully we get more questions answered by then. But I truly think that's what happens at the very end of Levitate and all the way up to the Saturday music video. Complex? Yes. Confusing? Levitate is, is just a confusing music video. But I honestly think that's what happens. Honestly, that's the only explanation I can come up with. And there are going to be people who will counteract they all argue that this isn't the music video or the music video order could be nico a uh, levitate jumpsuit nico and the niners uh, uh levitate first then J nico and the niners or then jumpsuit or jumpsuit levitate nico and the niners people will argue for everything to which i mean that's the great thing about theories is that no one's technically wrong they are just theories and it does lead to great discussions and if if someone says i dislike your theory it's bad and they block you and follow you that's a, just a red flag but i'm open to everything i know i have said uh, previously that saw that my opinion on what songs are included and not included in the demo storyline however i will still talk about vessel being included part of the lore just for the sake of discussion i'm gonna go my way with my own things and people can go their way with their own things that was an unnecessary uh vent rant sort of thing at the end there but is what it is but anyway guys let me know what you think what do you think happens at the end of the love team music video all uh, and then between the love team music video and the saturday music video or even levitate just shy away let me know what you think happens between there and then guys i'm gonna go ahead with this video and go to bed i got work tomorrow i wake up early to do stuff and i'll see you guys later <laughs> goodbye and good night more importantly have a good day and i'll see you later